Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of Angular 7 video tutorial for Absolute Beginners by Tech Tech Tuts in 2019. In today's video tutorial, we will talk about the folder structure and some of the important files included in the skeleton which we have created in the previous video tutorial, I mean in part 2. If you haven't seen that part 2, kindly watch it first and then come to here to understand the folder structure. So without any further ado and without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial so guys this is the application or this is the skeleton application which we have generated using ng new command in previous part 2 and these are the folders and files created by this skeleton so the we will start from the top and go to the bottom understanding each folder and file which is included in this skeleton and we will also discuss which one is important for you as a beginner and which one is not important so first of all it's showing us e to e folder if you can see here e to e mean end to end it's a testing platform i mean if you want to test your application all of these functionality will create is all of the folder structure of this uh, folder e to e will help you to test your file structure or i mean test your application and uh, next is node modules folder whichever modules you have in you are going to install in future or which are the folders which are defaultly added inside your application all of them are inside this folder and the next folder is src folder this is our main folder where we will be working on in upcoming video tutorials so i will explain it more in the upcoming tutorials as we move on so this is editor configure file so this one is for your particular uh, visual editor which you are using right now i'm using vs code so vs code related configuration you can find here and this is the link editor config.org which you can check and learn more about what are these commands so next is the dot git ignore this is the file which when you are creating and updating your uh, application on github then these files and folders will be ignored and they will not be updated to the github repository because these are just for development purpose they don't need it so next is angular json file this is our main source file of angular all of the configuration of your application is inside this angular.json we will modify it as we need it with the time as i create more video tutorials and you will learn about the architecture of this uh, file as we move on so for the time being this is the main source file which set up all of your application which you have created and we, we can uh, add static resources and some other configuration in this file next is package dash lock dot json after installing all of the files which are included in package dot json file they are configured in package dash lock dot json file so that in future if you update it will compare those files with the live version and with the package dash lock dot json file and if it founds new version it will update the package dot json as well as package dot dash lock dot json file so you don't don't need to do anything with the package dash lock dot json but you can add your future packages using npm or ng add command and then they will be updated inside package.json file readme is simply a readme file about your project then there is a ts configuration file because angular is working with the typescript so you need to configure your typescript files and properly output their information so they can be converted into proper native javascript code you don't need to convert them into the javascript code directly TypeScript will do it if you have already installed and globally as well as the TypeScript will be installed with this application as well. So the last file is tslint. This is the TypeScript linting file. Linting means it will check how you have configured your look of the editor. I mean the file structure, how it is and how many tabs you are giving, how many white spaces you are adding and how you are naming the files and adding double quotes single quotes etc etc so all the syntax highlighting and your error reporting will be done by ts linting it will give you errors if you have not properly added single quote or double quote or it will do it automatically so these are the folders of and files of your default skeleton application
So now let's explore the SRC folder in more detail. So in the SRC folder, you will further see some folders and files. And if I start from the top first folder, you will have app. This is your default module folder. I mean, your, all of your default modules, components, services, guards, APIs, etc., will be created in this folder. Currently, by default, when you create your application, it will generate five files with the CSS, HTML, spec.ts. This spec.ts file basically use E2E folder to test your uh, project and analyze that everything is working properly. All the things are configured properly while before launching your application. So the app.component.ts file is your main file which when you run using localhost 4200 this application is loaded its app.component.html file. On the back end it's also loading app.component.css file as well as app.component.ts file. And the last one is app.module. So you can create multiple modules inside your Angular app, but there must be one default module which first loads. So this is the app.module.ts file, which is by default created when you run ng new and give it name of your folder. So this is the app folder structure. And the next is assets. All of your static assets like images, JavaScript, CSS, you can add them here in the assets folder if they are not available inside the node modules because many of the assets like CSS and JavaScript we can install using npm and we can also use CDN but it, so it's mainly images you can add in this folder. Then the next folder is your environment. Environment means in what environment you are running your application. Right now, as we are running it on the local machine, so this environment is a local development environment. So it will run in environment.ts file where production tab is or production key is false. Mean you are not running in production mode. You can test it. You can do uh, debug it. You can see errors but in production you won't see any errors but your application may stop working and you don't see any proper guide that is what, what kind of error this is causing the problem. So and when you are developing you are running in development mode and after completing your application you can run it in production mode. The next file is browsers list. So these are the browser list supported by your application then we have a favorite icon this is angular icon. Then we have an index.html file. This is our root application which loads over root component which is app-root. And our app-root is loading from app.component.ts. If you can see this selector, we will discuss them later. So right now, then we have karma.conf file. karma.conf.js file is for testing purpose. It's a compiler which tests your application or you can say testing compiler. Then we have a main.ts file. This main TS file will configure your modules, environment, everything what you are doing. So this one file will be loaded the first. Then we have polyfill.ts which is compiling, converting your code from TypeScript file to native or vanilla JavaScript and you can see configuration here. So we don't need to touch it. And then we have styles.css if you want to include CDN or anything from node modules like CSS files you can import it here easily and then it will be uh, added in your running project. Then we have tests.ts when you run your application in test mode this test.ts file will execute and will do all the testing using any testing compiler like karma.conf configuration file and then it will run E2E folder. Then same you have TS config for your app and then you have TS config for your testing. Then you have TS linting for your app folder. So this one is root level your TypeScript, TypeScript linting and this one is your application level TypeScript linting. Linting means debugging, syntax highlighting and showing errors. So as we move on I will show you what exactly does this TS lint will do. So this is how all the folder structure and files are organized in uh, Angular 7 app. We have, have mo mostly we have concerned with source folder and angular.ts 
json file and then package.json file so in upcoming video tutorials we will see how to make changes in package.json how to make changes in angular.json and how to add different components services modules and other things routing etc etc in src folder so this is the folder structure and file structure of angular 7 video uh, angular 7 application in the next video tutorial we will see how can we create components and what are the components of angular 7 and how can we use them how we create them and how we can add them so we will meet in the next video tutorial in our first practical application we will learn about app folder in more detail and all of the files added in app folder and we will add more folder or more files in it so guys till then thank you very much for watching this video tutorial till the end take care and goodbye